Greetings to all and welcome to this presentation on how to create a page in uh, Oracle Apex on how to list the content of a table or the content of a view. We assume that you are already logged in in Oracle Apex and you already have an app. In our case, we have an app that we created. It's called CMSAP. And we'll try to go to that app by clicking on App Builder. Once you are inside App Builder, we can see the two apps that we have already created. And we are going to choose CMSAP as the one that we want to work on. So we are now going to create a new page like initially announced on how to list the content of the courses. The admin, you want to list the content of all the courses. How do we create a page? We simply go to create page. Now, in the last video, we were creating a form to submit the details of a new course to be created but this time we are not creating a course we want to retrieve courses from the table courses so let us rather click this time on interactive report to retrieve those courses after clicking on interactive report the last time I remember it was page number two. We can now go to page number three and give it a name that we may call Retrieve Courses. It's the name of our page. From there, where do we go? We can now, uh, we don't want a, a form page. We can simply go and choose the table from where we want to get the data. And that table is inside the database, student marks database, no problem. What is the name of that table? That table is called courses. This is the table from which we want to retrieve the data. So we can now click on create page create page is being created it has is it created yes it has been created and i remember we were saying initially uh, the columns of the that has to be retrieved are here yes the key is always hidden we don't want the key to be sent. And I remember also here, we wanted to change to make it more user-friendly, the title. And we said we want to call it Retrieving Courses. And I remember also in the last presentation, we said there was a duplication so we could remove the breadcrumb and delete it very very good what are we left with i think we can now go and uh, change our interface for now let us save our page we can now go and change our interface to make sure that it is the right menu in the interface that is linked to this page. So how do we do that? We go to the app, our app and the shared components. Once we are inside the shared components, we go to the navigation, the list items in the navigation and inside that list, you will see the navigation menu. Now that we are in navigation menu, we can scroll down and see if our item is there, yes, this is the one that we want to put at the right place. 
which one is its right place we know it is the admin who wants to retrieve a course so it is here that we want to do it so i'm going to remove this old retrieve i'm clicking on it and then i'm going to delete it once it is deleted i'm saying okay i will now go back to our list of entries and identify the entry that we want to locate properly edit it and assign the right parent the right parent inside the entry what is the right parent it is inside courses yes we want to create courses now we want to modify courses so i'm going to put it at this level and i can apply the changes the changes has been applied what else can i do i can change the name to make it simply retrieve so i'm going to edit it again and when i am editing it i am having courses i here i'm going to call the label retrieve instead of retrieve courses and i'm going to apply the changes and you now see under the change has been applied is no more retrieve courses is now a retrieve i think it's time for us to go and set our app try to run it i'm going to app builder the app builder i can go to cmsap and run the application the application is now here inside the course we have the create we also now have the retrieve when we click on retrieve we have retrieved all the courses and this is what we want to do now we must be able to choose for example if i want to know the courses by title i can now click on title and search for example all the courses starting with dev after clicking on go, it will give me only the courses that are with dev. If I want to make a search by season, for example, or level, I can ask for all the courses starting with Y, like year courses, and it's going to search for it after clicking on go. And we can see it's year one and year three courses but i can also look for other like uh, the if i want the season to be for example semester i can also go to search it and you, you see i don't have any semester course so if i want all courses i can simply click on go but here i did not choose the and then all the columns and then i i think we can do a last search based on the title and if i don't put anything let me delete the all criteria delete the all criteria all the search criteria and i'll see my database Thank you very much and uh, we will go to a next video on how to update a record. So far we know how to add a new record, we know how to retrieve records. This video will show how to update, how to edit or delete a record. Thank you.